Whoa! Hey everybody, it's Christine. Don't get car sick or nauseous when you're watching this vlog. I'm actually in the car on my way to Fox News to do an, an interview on the Willis Report. And as I was getting ready and talking to Jill, who's with us holding the camera right now, I was just thinking about, you know, how blessed I am and how much I love my job. It's just so cool. And I get to do cool things like this. And it's been nine years in the making. And I was thinking back to nine years ago when I was working in corporate America and I hated my job and I was trapped behind a desk all day, how miserable I was and how that was such like a risky leap of faith that I took. And I thought, you know, if I could go back and tell myself nine years ago what I know, what I know now, would I? And probably not because I think it was so good for me to go into that land of uncertainty, to leave the safety and security and everything I'd worked so hard for because I felt this calling, like I felt totally inspired to do something else, even if I didn't know what it was. So today's vlog is all about inspiring you to escape the cubicle, <laughs> maybe leave behind the security and safety of a job that you know isn't right for you. So now I'm here with Kristen, who's helping me out with my makeup, and I was talking to her about her non-traditional career as a makeup artist. She's escaped the cubicle. And one of the things that I want to encourage you to think about if you're wanting to escape the cubicle is what's your level of comfort with risk? Now she was saying if she knew then what she knows now in terms of what she'd have to sacrifice and what she'd have to risk and all the uncertainty and all the unknown, she doesn't know if she'd necessarily do it. So are you okay with uncertainty? Are you okay with risk? Are you okay with having to sleep on somebody's couch for a while and not knowing necessarily where your next paycheck is going to come from and not being able to go out as much and having to budget a little more? You know, how badly do you want it? That's the first question. How badly do you want it? Not the idea of it, but also to go through what it takes to get there. Okay, everybody, I'm about to go live, and I will tell you, I'm a little nervous, and there's a little bit of fear, but that's okay, because one thing I've learned is that if we let fear stop us, we never do anything. So if you're waiting not to be scared before you take a risk in your career, you're never going to do it. So don't let fear be an indicator that you shouldn't do it. Feel the fear and move forward anyway. That's courage. Okay, one minute away. Okay, so I'm back. The interview was so much fun, and now I'm about to put on my little fancy <laughs> high-tech headset and teach an online class. And I love, love, love teaching. This is the Quarter Life Upgrade class that I'm teaching right now, virtually online, and all these people from all over the world call in, and I get to coach them and work with them. And it's just what I love so much. And so my last tip for you is please honor what you love. I know that there's something in you, even if you don't know the form necessarily, you know what you're passionate about. You know how you want to serve the world. I get most lit up when I know I'm serving people, and, and I do that through coaching and teaching. I follow my bliss. I followed my heart. I let my heart be louder than my head, and my encouragement to you today is to do the same because you deserve to share your gifts with the world. You deserve to do something every day that not only contributes but lights you up inside.